Okay, so we're going to program the AI for the game. Sorry, the video cut out, so I had to uh, make another video. So, uh, as you remember, I showed you how to add the on uh, C pawn uh, in the window of the character, which is called Bear 2. All right, you recall. So, I'm going to go back to, so that actually this is the viewport, but here you go. So, I'm going to cast two. Well, who do I want him to interact with? Now, there's a lot of options here. You can set up triggers, etc. But we're going to just cast to first person character. Now we're playing first person character game, so we uh, definitely want him to, because uh, if you wrote third person, it wouldn't work. Okay, so there he is. And we're going to link uh, these together so that the pawn interacts with the object. So you need to try to understand the code as much as possible. So, um. Okay, so I'm going to drag this out. I'm going to go AI, move to, so we're telling the uh, character to move to this, and we're just going to target as first person character, so that's who the target is, and we're going to target self, okay? So we're going to go get reference for self, okay, so that's who... Uh, he's targeting. So we got all the code we need now. We're going to compile and save this, but it still won't work. So one of the things we need to do is we need to create, tell the code where is it going to interact. So what you're going to do is under, now you can just go under volumes and look up nav mesh volumes, uh, but I just prefer typing it. Okay, so it's just easier than searching. You know what it is. So nav, nav mesh bounds volume. So we're going to drop that in here. And we're going to also resize it. Um, so click that WER key. And I'm going to, you know, and if this, you need to cover your whole level, you just cover your whole level. And so now what we're going to do is it's there. I'm going to go down here, grab the blueprint, not the other one, the blue one. And I'm going to drag it and put it right there. So you see, now I'm going to double check to make sure it's in the correct spot. Because it's kind of like 3D, it's always hard to see. So I'm going to click over here. And I, I would, nav mesh, okay, he's in the nav mesh, which is what I need him to be. Now, if I made the nav mesh the whole thing here, in other words, as soon as you step in there, he can chase you. So he won't be able to chase you outside this box, unless you make the box bigger, which you can by just, you know, expanding this kind of stuff, all right? So now, well, it's probably ready to go. So let's uh, just save what we have and play. I don't remember where my player start is. Sometimes your player start might be really far, so you can move it closer so you don't waste too much time. So I'm going to go here and click play. And I'm going to get it. Okay. So I'm using WER keys to move. So I'm going to go in front of him. And he. I have to be in this site. So, oh, there he is. You know, the box is a little small, so when I get close to him, he comes after me. So I may want to either extend his site or make the box a little bit bigger. Now, obviously, when I shoot him, he doesn't die. I got to program some collisions. We'll do that a little bit later. All right. If you have any questions? Let me know.